Hello, so who am I and why am I making these videos? My name is Dr. Arthur Salmon. I'm a cybersecurity professional, instructor, professor in higher education. I have an applied doctorate in cybersecurity and information assurance. I've been a security engineer for over 20 years. I do a lot of cybersecurity research in both my professional life as well as in my academic life. I'm doing a series of videos on wireless controllers, wireless devices, the Flipper Zero and other content. So this goes along with that video series. So what's the purpose of this video? We're gonna focus on getting our Flipper Zero updated to the Flipper Extreme, so we can do very specific types of an attack that our traditional Flipper Zero is capable of doing, we're just not uh, there at the moment. All right, so first thing is go over to Flipper One, uh, Flipper Zero Dot One. That's their primary website. You can purchase it. What I thought's really interesting is it also gives you the specs for it. It gives you your breakout. Uh, boards that give you all of the major sections like sub 1 gigahertz range, your low frequency RFID cloner, your NFC, Bluetooth. Bluetooth is going to be one of the areas that we're going to be focusing on, specifically our Bluetooth low energy BLEs. And our infrared, cloning our remotes and whatnot. We do have an SD card for it. And again, there's a lot of hardware uh, expansion capability. There's an I button portion, and then there is our breakdown of all of it. So, first thing is, how do we check the contents or the, the version of our flipper? So let's jump over to our flipper. So I'm sitting at our home screen. So, we're using a traditional version. If we go down, go to settings. So we have our Bluetooth, we have our power. If we keep going down, we should get to system. But that's not where we want. We have to keep going down even further. Go to about. Here we get our Flipper Zero model. We get all of our compliance, verification, addresses. Keep going, keep going. We have our hardware version and our serial number. And then we finally get to our version. So I have it connected via USB to my com computer. So I'm going to show you where to download the updater and then we'll get to our updates to Extreme. So when we're looking at Flipper 0.1, if you go to Downloads, you can download the firmware and you can do it either through a mobile app or through the desktop. I have it through the desktop. Click download, it'll download. You have a Mac version and a Linux ver uh, version as well, and you just roll through it. So I'm not going to be showing you how to do the installation for the software, it, download it, follow the default uh, prompts, and you're good to go. So here I have a connected device on COM port 6. You'll notice that I'm running version 1.0.1. .1. So this one has no update. So I'm going to go grab a Flipper Zero that is a little older. That way we're going to swap it out. All right, so 
I put in a new flipper. You'll notice now we have it connected on COM port 8. It is now using a older version, 0.64.3, which is actually from August 2022. It does show no SD card. It is there, it just probably needs to be restarted. But we now have an update option. So we're going to click on update. Notice, without an SD card, it will give you, a pro uh, give you an error. When I first connected it, the SD card wasn't there, so I just had to get the flipper to refresh itself. It is now showing the SD card installed. Click on update. And you can see that the flipper is updating. So I'm not going to pause the video when I do the updates. That way you can kind of see how long it takes. You can also double check your logs. All right, so once the Flipper Zero is updated, desktop application should flag it as successful. The Flipper should also say successful. You can continue, and then again, you can now see the updated firmware. Build date September 9th, firmware version 1.0.1. .1. On the Flipper itself, you can now see that it says successful. So I do want to point out a few things. So we're going to go ahead and go through some options. So you'll notice we have some bad USB functionality. Oh, I always keep going back, back to the side. We have some apps. So earlier I did mention the BLE Bluetooth attack. So I'm going to go to Bluetooth. And you'll notice we don't have that. Our functionality is not that it's limited. It's just we don't have a lot of functions here. But you know, that happens. Not a big deal. So we're going to jump into a different set of firmware that gives us more options. All right. So with the new firmware, first is you need to close out of the official firmware updater from Flipper Zero. Make sure it is closed out. You're going to go to flipper hyphen x -treme, tre dot me. We're going to install this through the web portal. But before we do that, quick overview. What is it? Basically, it is an extreme version of the Flipper Zero firmware we get our bad keyboard and our BLE spam. So when we're looking at our extreme, we get stable updates, we get rolling code support. Those are pretty standard stuff. The big one is BLE spam, again, Bluetooth. We get our bad keyboard, and then we get so many other functionalities, again, I'm focusing on the BLE for the research we're doing. So to get this installed, 
we're going to install it directly from the web portal. Click install. You should notice as long as the Flipper Zero firmware official updater is not open, you will be able to connect. So connect. Select which Flipper Zero you have on the correct COM port. Click connect. If you still have the Flipper Zero official firmware update program open, it won't let you connect. So it's just one of those things to point out. All right, so we are again updating. This is what firmware we have. This is the SD card. Here's the database. Here is the extreme firmware that we're going to be updating to. Here's all the add-ons. So new apps, BT trigger. Here's all of the, the details for it. Here's the update portion for it, the fixes. There are some known issues, which again, it will list down here. When you're ready to go, click flash. Again, I'm not going to stop the recording for it's updating, so it's going to do the update in real time, and you'll be able to watch all of it. You'll notice on the Flipper Zero, it's now installing the Extreme Firmware. Pay attention to your Flipper. And yes, I am aware that the Flipper Zero is not centered in the frame. When I center it in the frame, the uh, ring light overshadows the screen, so we're kind of getting that fixed. So all in all, the process does take about five minutes to get the Extreme Firmware updated, but it does offer a lot of capabilities.
All right, it's rebooting. Now pay attention to your flipper because you're gonna have to do some setup on the flipper itself. All right, so we're gonna click on next. Okay, it is. Sometimes I notice that it is a little sluggish when you first update it, so again, be a little patient with it. All right, so we need to make sure the controls still work, so try the up arrow. So again, we have a lot of different features now. We do have new graphic settings. So again, explore the system. One thing I do definitely do like is the battery. <laughs> All right, so if we roll through, if we roll through, we can now see our new settings. I'm gonna go to Bluetooth. You notice now Bluetooth is on. I'm gonna turn off Bluetooth. If we go down, we can see the browser. You now see a lot more items. If we scroll through, we have our apps. If I go to Bluetooth apps, we now have multiple Bluetooth apps. If we go to BLE spam, we can now scroll through all of the spam. And you'll notice there's a good amount. All right, so I'm going to go back. So that was the completion. We got it updated. I do want to go ahead and get this guy turned off then. If we scroll through it, you're going to notice that, again, some of the, the placement for the tools are a little different. That's fine. If you hit the up, go to settings. Got to do it too little quick. Shut off. So. I'm going to go ahead and unplug it now. It is now off. So we are now completed the purpose of this video. Questions, thoughts, concerns, definitely feel free to reach out. Again, this was mainly just a video focused on getting it updated to the official firmware and then updating it to the extreme because this ties into a much larger video series. Questions, thoughts, concerns, please reach out. Thank you.